Hello, this is Professor Johnson, and I'm ready for another segment of Views from an HBCU Economist. And so today we're going to be talking about inflation, specifically how they calculate the inflation rate, not with a calculator, but with Microsoft Excel. So I look forward to, to teaching you this valued skill. So the question we're, we're going to talk about today is how to calculate the inflation rate with Excel. So one of the reasons why you want to be able to, to use Excel is once you set up the formulas in the spreadsheet, it's going to make your life so much easier. Uh, so let's say you're, you have a homework assignment with multiple problems dealing with inflation, or maybe you're taking a quick quiz online, and um, I, I would think that using Excel, once you've got everything set up, is going to make it much quicker for you to do that. So, so that's what we're going to show uh, today. And one of the reasons why we want to do that, one, it will lead to less errors because the Excel is going to be making the calculations. And the last point, most important point, this is a skill that's valued in the workforce. And so, so once you know Excel, put it on your resume, that should add to your marketability. So what we have here is an Excel spreadsheet. And so what I want you to really uh, hone in on are, are the letters up here at the, at the top. And they reference the columns. And so that's important because we're going to be referencing sales like the cell right here. Uh, so, so you want to know where the columns are, which is above here, A through N. And then you also want to know the numbers here labeled 1 through 18. And so all the, both of these the, the columns and the rows will help us reference a cell. And, and so, so that's uh, very important when you're putting in formulas. And that's because you need to learn how to reference cells. And so rather than typing in numbers uh, and, and doing calculations, you're actually going to be uh, typing in columns and rows wherever those numbers are. So that's, that's very important. So let, let me uh, talk about one example of that. So I want you to note here, there's a number here, 41, and uh, we're going to try to reference that in another cell, C8. And, and so the, so how we're going to reference this number, we're going to actually, it's going to show up in this cell without us typing in that number, and this is how we're going to do it. We need to know what the row, the column, which is C, and the row, which is 4, and that's actually what we're going to place here. So let me uh, open up an Excel spreadsheet and so, to show you how that works. Okay, I've opened up the spreadsheet. You see C4, we've got 41, but I'm going to reference that cell, not by typing the number, but just by referencing the cell by putting in the column and the row where that number is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click on column C, row 8, and I'm going to click equal. And then when I'm going to up here, what I'm going to do here, or actually what I can do, I can just click on 41 and you'll see it's C4. So what, I, what, I, what I'm doing here is I'm typing in C, which is the column, and then uh, 4, which is the row. So you can do it either way, and I'm going to hit enter. And notice how it becomes 41. Now, the, the key thing here is by referencing the cell, let's say I change this number to 18, notice the number automatically changes in C8. And so that's really the beauty of referencing cells. And once you have the right formula, then, then it's just all a matter of looking at different problems and plugging in different numbers, and you don't have to worry about recalculating it because it's the Excel, Excel is going to recalculate it for you. So let's look at a sample problem here. We've got Radius Springs, a uh, hypothetical country. They have some pricing data here. And, and so uh, what we're looking to do is to calculate the annual inflation rate for 2019 and then the annual inflation rate for 2020. So I can't do the inflation rate for 2018 because I would need the previous year. And so, so the first thing we need to do is reference the, chip, uh, the uh, textbook so we know what the formula is. So here I've got open stacks opened up, principles of macroeconomics, second edition. And I'm actually going to scroll down to chapter 9. 
and section 9.1 tracking inflation and that's where the formula is i'm just go down a little bit here and the formula i'm looking for is underneath work it out calculating annual rate of inflation and so so this is the key formula that i want to want to know level a new one minus level in previous one divided by level in previous year or i should say level in new year minus level in previous year divided by previous year. And so they had this times 100, but I'm going to show you, you don't even need that. You just need that quotient. And, and so let me tell you why. Okay, so we've got the form, but first what I want to do is I have Microsoft Word opened up. So what I want to do is I'm going to left click here in the corner of this uh, table and I want to drag it and then go to home and then copy it. And so the reason why I want to copy it is I want to put it in Excel so I can, can so I can put in the formula, the right formula. Okay, and ne next what I'm going to do is go here to home and click on paste. Um, and that's my table here. And so remember what the formula was and actually what I'll do is just to, so you will know what it is. It's level in new year minus level in previous year divided by level in previous year. So, so that's the formula I'm working with, and and I'm putting parentheses here. So, so when we talk about New Year's, whatever the inflation rate is. So, the questions first question is asking about 2019. So, 2019 would be the new year for for calculating the inflation rate for 2019. So, so going back here, I I'm gonna put not applicable here for 2018, and then here what I'm gonna hit is equal, and then I want the price level. In the new year, which is 104.9, and uh, notice it's B3. And by the way, let me put parentheses there. And then you want to subtract the previous year, which is column B, row two, or click on 103.2. Definitely don't want to type 103.2. And then you just want to divide that by column B, row two, which is 103.2. So notice what that looks like. And that is how you calculate the inflation rate. So you might have noticed 0 0.016473. That's not a percent. Um, you can do it by multiplying 100. However, with Excel, all you got to do is go up here uh, um, on the panel, uh, upper panel here, and click on percent. And that will automate. Um, first, you got to make sure your mouse is on the cell. Then hit the, the percentage key, and it automatically converts it into a percent. And so typically here you can move it out to the 10th or 100th. I think I'm going to do uh, the 100th. And so 1.65. And so so my answer for um, the ant calculate the inflation rate for 2019, it is. Answer is 1.65 percent or R if you, if you round to the nearest. Temp, it would be 1.7%. And so now we're going to do 2020 and we go back here. And actually, what we can do, you see this uh, white thick T actually go to the upper lower hand corner and then it becomes a thin black T and then left click and then you can drag. And then that will drag the formula, especially if you have a lot of numbers that can save time. And now we know that the inflation rate for 2020 is 3.43. So I can say here, the answer is 3.43. Or if they want it in by a tenth, then it would be 3.4%. And so depending on what the answers are, actually Excel can do that for you. So like if you want it in tenths, uh, by um, in tenths, you can just move this over one uh, so that's clicking here to the right so it can do it either way and um i note that you might have noted that it's the reason why it's 1.65 and not 1.67 that's because 1.647 is less than 1.65 so so let me make that correction here so let's see uh or 1.6 so that's another another check so um and that's because this was four six seven so rounding to the nearest tenth, that would be 0.6. So, so, um, so that's how you calculate the inflation rate. And so um, that's 
that that is one of the reasons why you want to do be able to set up the spreadsheet when you're doing a quiz as long as you you got the formula in right here you can let's say you have another problem with different different um different numbers let's just say this is 2016 this is 2017 you got and and um 2018 so let's say you have a number and say well the price level in 2017 was was 98.4 and the the um, price level in 2016 was 95.1. Well, it's going to automatically recalculate your inflation rate, and then then you got another problem. Well, now it's going to be 101.9, uh, and and so it automatically recalculates your inflation rate, and so so that's the the beauty of using Excel. And so so hopefully when when you're doing this again, you won't be using the calculator. So I hope that was helpful. And so uh, when, when you get competence, proficiency in using Excel, certainly share this uh, reference in, in, in your resume. And, and if you have any questions or you're still unclear on how to use Excel, please share your thoughts in, uh, in the comments above this video. If it was helpful, please click like also, uh, click subscribe. That that would be helpful. And so, until next time, I'll I'll see you soon.